Hey guys, it's Mike here, and I wanted to make a part two to my part one on Excel MOS training. So this will be part two, and this will cover uh, number formatting, cell styles, and conditional formatting. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is insert and delete cells. And the only tricky thing about that is just remembering that it's not the same as inserting and deleting a column or inserting and deleting a row. I'll show you the difference. So if we wanted to insert, uh, move these cells uh, starting at stock ID to FG87 to the right, you wouldn't do that by doing the uh, inserting a column because this is what happens. So I'll highlight my column and I'll insert a new column and it moves everything above that. So that's not what I want. So I'm just gonna undo that by deleting the column that I just created and going back to square one. So you just wanna move this range to the right and not the game purchases title or this information in the square box either. So I'll just select the cells that I wanna to move to the right. That's how we insert cells. So highlight, right click, and press insert. And then we have a few uh, motion options. So where do I wanna put the cells? And um, it's, I'm gonna say shift to the right and pre by pressing okay. And then you can see that my information shifted to the right and we have a new group of cells here. And I can also delete that range as well by highlighting it and right clicking and pressing delete. And then it'll say shift cells to the left and that's what we want to do. And now we're back to square one and we've inserted and deleted uh, cells from this range. So now we'll look at manually formatting cell contents and all the skills that are involved with that. And the first one is how to modify cell alignment. So on the left side in this alignment group, you have uh, the align left at the bottom left side, the center and align right, and the align bottom, align middle, and align top on the vertical uh, alignment. So I'll show you a few examples of what each of those look like. This is center. This one is actually just how to indent. So in Microsoft Word, to indent, you just press tab, but you can't do that in Excel, so you'd have to press the indent button. And in this example, we are going to middle align this text by pressing the middle line in the alignment group, and now it's in the middle vertically. So in this example, I'll show you how to format your cells and also how the difference between merge and center and merge across. So if you want to format the cell or use a cell fill, that would be this color. So don't confuse that with text color. Fill color is, let's say if we wanted this to be brown, um, the cell color in the background, so it's not the text color. And then if we change the text color to white, so that would be the text formatting versus the cell formatting. And let's look at the difference between merge and center and merge across, because you might have to do both on your MOS exam. So if we wanted to merge this across a few cells, but we didn't want it to move. So if I do merge and center, it be, goes into the center of the cell uh, horizontally. So it goes center. Uh, if we undo that and try, so we wanna merge these cells, but not move the text, then that would be merge across. So if you're ever asked to do this on um, your Gmetrics or any other training program like that, um, and they asked to merge the cells but don't move the text, that's what they mean by that, and it would be uh, merge across. Versus merge and center, which would look like this. We'll do that for the um, this text here, merge and center, and that's what it would look like. So it's good to know the difference between merge and center, uh, merge across, and how to format your cells versus um, formatting your text. So now we'll look at uh, number formatting. So I'm gonna highlight this range and add the comma separator uh, between the thousands. And notice what happened when I added a new format, my numbers became too big. That's because whenever you change the uh, format of a normal number, it'll add two decimals. So I just press decrease two decimals. Um, for percentage, uh, when we change this these decimal numbers into a percent, it actually does the opposite. So it actually takes away the decimals. So to add them, you just press increase decimal in the number group to get two decimals back. And you could also press decrease decimal if your numbers were too big. So one last type of number formatting would be currency versus accounting. So I'm gonna highlight these two ranges. And if I click on the dollar amount, it's the accounting number format. I'll just shrink my numbers down because um, they're too big for the, uh, the columns. So you can choose accounting or you can click on the uh, drop arrow in the numbers group and choose currency. So that's where you'd find the currency, but the dollar uh, signs is accounting format. So 
So now I'm going to show you how to copy uh, cell formatting using the Format Painter, and the Format Painter can be used in PowerPoint as Word as well. Um, notice the morning bean text is uh, we formatted it well here and not so much on the second page. So we can just copy instead of uh, editing the second page formatting. So I'm just going to highlight A1 and A2 here, click the Format Painter to copy the format, the formatting that we used, and then just highlight A1 and A2 here with that paintbrush. And then don't forget to press Escape whenever you have, um, you're have you using the Format Painter because then it won't uh, let you move on to other things. And now I'm going to change the color because theme colors have to change. And I used the theme color in the first example, so that color didn't copy over, but all the other formatting did, like the font style and the size of the text. So now I'm going to show you how to um, copy and paste using special paste options. So if I want to copy this uh, formula here at the top to the right, I can use the autofill button to do that. Or I can also click on the cell and then copy it and then paste it to the cell right beside it using some paste options. So the first one is just a normal paste. Uh, then the value. So the value is just copying the number over. And then there's also the formula option. So that would copy a formula and probably save you a lot of time um, instead of having to rewrite the formula over and over again. So here's a better example of this. I'm going to copy this formula here under the net change formula and uh, paste it here using the paste options and then just drag the formula down using the autofill uh, button and that's another way to uh, paste your formulas uh, somewhere else and also the percent change is also a different formula so I can copy that paste it in this section and just click um, autofill or drag the autofill handle down and it also copy and paste my formulas down. So now we'll format our cells with uh, cell styles and I'll show you how to apply those cell styles. So I'm going to highlight this range here and then in the cells styles group click the drop arrow and click accent 3 that'll give me a color a cell color and text color options as well and I'll do it again here by selecting these three cells and if I want like a heading or a title style, I could go to the styles gallery, click the drop arrow and pick title. And that's how you use uh, cell styles. And now we'll look at uh, inserting hyperlinks or removing hyperlinks from your cells. So now we'll insert a hyperlink. Let's say we want a hyperlink to the Morning Bean uh, website. If you were asked to insert a hyperlink with the text that displays uh, the website maybe, so www.morningbean, Dot com, you could start typing in here and then create a hyperlink that way, or we could insert a hyperlink into the cell, um, but then put the link first and then type the text to display later. So we have to decide what we want here, whether it's a place in this document we want to link to or an existing file or web page, and that's the one we want. So the address is www.morningbean, sure, let's call it morningbean.ca. You can change the text to um, display, so it doesn't have to be the same as the address. You could say website or something like that, our website, and then maybe a longer screen tip explaining this link will take you to our website. So that's the text you get if you hovered your mouse over top of the uh, link. So this is what that would look like. Our website comes up and then this will take you to our website and this would take you to the Morning Bean uh, website. You can also right click, uh, edit hyperlink at any time or remove the hyperlink as well. So the next thing we'll do and the last thing we'll do is apply conditional formatting to cells. So I'm going to show you two examples of that. In this worksheet I'm going to highlight um, these two separate ranges. And what I'm looking for is the values that are less than zero or the negative numbers. So I would go to conditional formatting, go to highlight cell rules and pick the less than options and then change the number uh, to zero if I want to look up negative numbers. And light red fill is great. Um, it points out the numbers in, the, in that range um, that are lower than zero. And again, if I wanted to um, do that again, but pick out the top 10% of the sales here, I would go to top and bottom rules click on top 10% and then maybe it's a positive number so I'm going to do green fill with dark green text 
So then click OK, and we can see that the top 10% sales are green and the other ones aren't because they meet the condition that we set. So that's conditional formatting. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Next time I'm going to show you how to change the theme of your Excel sheet, how to uh, set it up for printing, and uh, how to add uh, headers and footers in your document and format your entire worksheet. So while you're waiting for that, you can click on this video for more Excel resources, and I'll see you next time.